right guys what is going on welcome back to a brand new video so today um i found something when i was doing my little post trip yesterday on my truck uh, i'm gonna show y'all and uh so yeah today i decided with the help of my dad um we're just gonna replace all the hoses and the clamps so as you can see we took off the hose from the thermostat. I took off the breather hose because the breather hose was running from down here. From this side, as you can see, there's that front cover leak. It's pretty gunked up in there. Um, so yeah, and we took the pipe out that goes to the water pump. And the other guy that owned the truck, he put the breather hose right here, bolted it onto this bolt. And the breather hose is supposed to come this way. It's supposed to, 90 degree down and go down through there so and then obviously you can imagine that the breather tube and this hose they can't fit right here and coexist basically and here's the breather hose yes the old breather from the bottom broke off so yeah and then let me show y'all what the i guess old owner did they hammered this pipe that goes from the thermostat to the water pump as you can see there so I'm gonna buy a new one of the new pipe that Frightliner um, we're not gonna use that one so yeah we're gonna replace it all besides this pipe um, we're just gonna get new uh, hoses a 90 degree one there and a new hose for this end and uh, so yeah also drained all the coolant out <clears throat> um we're gonna be adding a easier way to drain the coolant so for anybody that wants to know you know if you want to do your own coolant flush or whatever the easy way um if you have a series 60 or 14 liter i'm pretty sure it's the same way um so this pipe goes from the bottom of the radiator right which a mechanic would do it you know the same way he'd drain it from here or from somewhere on the bottom so what we did is my dad took this out um i don't even know where the little it's a plug just like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add like a faucet style um kind of thing to it so i'll show y'all um and then next time whenever i need to do anything with the coolant here it is this little faucet style with the little ball in the middle as y'all can see there's a ball in there and uh yeah so um he found it in our shed and yeah so he's gonna get me another end to a like a hose like a, a garden hose whatever and we're gonna shorten it and next time if i ever need to do any major work drain the coolant i don't have to make a mess like i did over there we just turn this well put the hose on first then you just turn this and you drain it into two buckets and there you go you don't make a mess as we did here which i'll show you all yeah we made a huge mess so yeah freaking ever probably lost like two three gallons maybe maybe two gallons maybe three I'm not too sure uh but yeah so that's the project for today um i'm gonna show y'all what my dad's is like i'm gonna put a picture up So yeah, as you guys seen, that's uh, how my dad's is set up. So he just screws it, you know, he loosens it and puts it in a bucket. So easier way and for anybody out there that, uh, you know, wants to, I guess, do their own kind of work. If you got a hose or something like that and, you, you know, you want or you want to do a coolant flush or whatever, change your coolant out, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can do it the same way. So save some people some money going from going to the mechanic you know and uh, i'm sure there'll be some naysayers oh don't do that blah 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 well my dad's had it on his truck for over 14 years so maybe even more than that so there's no reason why for that kind of system to fail so you know uh yeah so let's go to freightliner uh, i gotta go get this stuff so i gotta get this hose that hose right there and we got to get a few more clamps 
I got these different style clamps. So we got these style clamps to replace them. These are a lot better than your generic ones. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all. These are a whole lot better um, than these. Just your basic, you know, that you can screw on with a flathead. Um, we use those on the ones that like the, you know, air travels through there, not no fluid. But when you're dealing with fluid, definitely gonna wanna use these on your hoses. <clears throat> so. Okay, and then we got the replacement hose, and then we got these rubber, so like rubber style. What are these tie downs? Yeah, like rubber tie downs. You can bolt it to the block and keep that breather tube from moving. So, yeah, let's go to Freightliner. All right, guys, we're here at Freightliner. I'm gonna go get this tube and back to fix the truck all right guys so we're back and uh i wanted to show y'all i guess i was wrong so i bought this brand new either way i just said screw it i'm gonna get it new it's 20 dollars, so it comes from the factory bent like this which is very odd and interesting and then the the breather tube i guess for my model well for the classics they go around and behind this so um so yeah and then i could have got the same style as what my dad had it just went kind of kind of elbowed like this and just went straight down but uh it was 105 bucks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint these detroit green y'all know i love painting literally just about anything so we're gonna make it look nice we're gonna clean up that other pipe and then we're gonna clean this one up as well so let's get to it all right guys so here is the water pump tube or pipe whatever you call it got it green i gotta hit that spot one more time here's the breather tube that goes behind that i just did it just to make it look a little nicer you know so i think it turned out pretty good uh so hopefully it lasts I didn't clean the inside because oil goes through it regardless. I got some paint on the inside that doesn't really matter. So, and we used this Detroit Diesel Alpine Green. This is an old can that my dad had from years ago. He's got like freaking a couple of them. Now, Detroit sells them with their own stamping and everything. They're like 20 bucks, $25 a can, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, there's that. All right, y'all, so here is the valve put in. So, just like that, tighten it good and tight. And, uh, yeah, so next time, all we literally have to do is uh put you know little uh hose end drain it and the people asking oh well you know what's gonna happen you know well if it loosens well it shouldn't loosen my dad's had it for years so i'm sure it'll be fine on mine plus this is the little ball one so it's a little better than his he has a little top one with the screw so uh yeah we're gonna uh, put back all the other stuff when it dries and put all the coolant back in. Put all the coolant back in and degrease the motor. And yeah. Alright, guys. We're here at Freightliner. I'm gonna go get this tube and back to fix the truck. Alright, y'all. So, as you can see, it went from being nice and green, Detroit green, to <laughs> messed up. So we were putting it on and obviously we noticed the clamps that i had gotten previously were small so the guy at freightliner not my original parts guy sold me a 200 series clamp but you need a 250 series clamp so just for anyone that wants to know so yeah uh let me show y'all we got the breather on um 
So this is basically like a trial and error. This is this is taking me like it's one day, two days now. So so yeah, the breather is on. We got it on with the clamp. You can see it's taken from the bottom and the new breather hose. It's I don't know why it's brown. I guess that's when they that, that's how they come is brown. So here's our little valve. And uh so yeah, tomorrow we're gonna finish. I have to go back to the uh, dentist tomorrow, and uh, yeah, so I'll see y'all tomorrow when, uh, you know, we have daylight because it's 5.15 and the sun is going down, so, you know, not no rush, so see y'all in the morning. Alright y'all, so I ended up going to the dentist this morning, and man, I was down all day, dude. Ooh, I'm in a lot of pain still, dude, it's bad, um, but yeah, as you can see, my dad put everything back together. I uh, I just washed the motor off, but uh, he put these uh, hoses right there so it doesn't rub on anything, zip tied it, and all that jazz. So, as you can see, we're all good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna spray down the front cover with some Detroit paint and uh, let all this dry off. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I just, uh, washed the front cover off just a little bit. And, uh, yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, shout out to my dad for, uh, finishing it while I was, uh, <laughs> down under getting my freaking jaw ripped open. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't have done it without him. Oh, man. So, as you can see, our breather tube's down there. All good. Um, probably gonna clean a little bit more. Probably around this area. And then wash it off. And we should be alright. And then we're gonna start hitting some stuff with some paint. Alright guys, so I just want to show y'all. I painted all this to Detroit green. As you can see. All that. I painted the thermostat housing, the Detroit color. As you can see, the colors are too different. So when the color settles in, it turns into this, like a darker blue. But this is Detroit green is what they call it because this Valkyrie was the same color when I sprayed it. But when this thing dries, it'll look a lot better. Um, so yeah, uh, I think definitely cleaned it up, made it look a, just a tad bit nicer than what it was. Uh, so... Yeah, maybe one day whenever we go to do the whole front cover, I'll get to just paint the whole engine, paint every single part, make it look really freaking nice. So, yeah, other than that, guys, I'll catch y'all uh, in the morning. All right, guys, so I went a little heavy on the painting. <laughs> painted the front cover and all that stuff up there. I painted the frame black. And, uh, yeah, I painted this frame black. Looks a little cleaner. I got to repaint this right here and I got on it painted the cover all over again so yeah I think it looks a whole lot nicer but uh, it keeps raining freaking here in Florida so yeah painted you know I'm back there and all whatnot so but uh so yeah there you have it all right y'all I'm finally polishing these wheels. I'm gonna try to do my best. Um, I did the front. I did these, as you can see. Painted most of the engine bay. Repainted the frame black, as I told y'all earlier. But I kind of did a lot more on uh, polish this wheel. So <clears> there's <throat> the bottom of that. We're good. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. So, why did I do it, you ask? I don't know. I was bored. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm trying to fix this thing for my hood. <sighs> but it doesn't look like I can fix it. So, yeah. Oh, but there you guys have it. Uh, I'm just going to continue on polishing. And uh, I'll probably have to catch you guys on the next video. So, I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, the little kind of DIY, how to flush your own coolant, and, uh, you know, put that little valve there, and you can save yourself a lot of time, 
and you can save yourself from going to the shop if you got to replace a hose a pipe or anything of that sort so just to show you all one more time an overview um there's the thing the, the valve there's the pipes that we put in the new ones breather boom right there and there you have it so once again if you haven't already subscribed to the channel uh go ahead and do so we got a lot of things coming up and uh yeah like if you enjoyed catch you on the next one peace